today my name's dragon the dragon quick you a nice day and here this is main news follow up One, Sandy Mall. Five things to know about Garth Brooks's ex-wife Garth Brooks has recently faced scrutiny following accusations of sexual assault and rape made on Thursday, October 3, 2024. By a former a makeup artist and hairstylist additionally, his first wife, Sandy Mall, whom many may forget, has also not shared her thoughts on her ex-husband. Before Garth released his debut album in 1989 and became one of the hottest names in country music, he married his first wife, Sandy. The two met while Garth was working as a bouncer at a bar during his time at Oklahoma State University. And he had to break up a fight that Sandy was involved in. Sandy worked as a songwriter while she was with Garth, but now resides in Oklahoma, where she helped start the Wild Heart Ranch. An animal rehabilitation center, Sandy assisted in founding and funding the nonprofit so it could expand and grow and be a full-time all-species. All-situation facility, according to the center's website, Sandy has stayed single since her split from Garth nearly 20 years ago. Meanwhile, Garth wound up marrying Trisha in 2005. I had been married 13 months when I met, Garth recently admitted. Sandy survived breast cancer after being diagnosed with the disease in 2006. 2. Outer Banks Season 4, Release Date, Plot Cast and Everything We Know tease an exciting time for Outer Banks fans, as the wait for Season 4 is almost over yes, there will be an Outer Banks Season 4. The exciting renewal was announced at Netflix's Poglandia, the Outer Banks fan-fueled an immersive music event that was held at Huntington Beach, California, on February 18. Chase Stokes, Madeline Klein, Madison Bailey, Jonathan Davis, Carlosia Grant, Rudy Panko, Austin North, and Drew Starkey were on hand for the announcement. Chase told fans who attended the event that they were the first to know that Outer Banks has been renewed for a fourth season. The Outer Banks cast celebrating season four the Pogues are enjoying an adventure of a lifetime. And we now get to map out more twists and turns as the joyride continues into season four of Outer Banks. The Pogues are enjoying an adventure of a lifetime. And we now get to map out more twists and turns as the joyride continues into Season 4 of Outer Banks. After the Season 4 announcement in Poglandia, Madeline took to Instagram to write a sweet message to fans. Madison also shared her excitement with a picture of her castmates all holding up four fingers in celebration of Outer Banks Season 4. Tudum by Netflix revealed that Outer Banks Season 4 will be split into two five-episode parts, with the first releasing on October 10, 2024, and the second on November 7, 2024. There was a bit of a break between Seasons 2 and 3. Netflix didn't renew the show for a third season until December 2021. Madison Bailey and Drew Starkey in Season 4 but Netflix didn't waste any time with that Season 4 renewal. With Season 3 dropping on February 23, 2023, Outer Banks Season 4 will likely be released in early to mid-2024. The hit series held the number one spot globally in Netflix's top 10 English TV list for the four weeks following its Season 2 launch on July 30, 2021, and was in the top 10 for six weeks in this era of television. You truly never know how many seasons of a show you're going to get. Outer Banks is definitely getting season 4, but the showrunners have had plans for at least 5 seasons for some time now.
Ever since we started, we always viewed it as something that was probably like a four-season, maybe five-season show, but definitely four seasons, Jonas told Entertainment Weekly back in 2023. Kit Harrington surprises viewers in Game of Thrones Universe Return Kit Harrington just returned to the Game of Thrones Universe, and fans can't get over ITIN Legends. Kit plays off his past character Jon Snow from the original HBO series, which ended after eight seasons in 2019 in one moment of the dock. Kit was seen delivering a heartfelt speech to the cast and crew of Game of Thrones during his last day of filming. 4. Love Island USA, Season 6 winners Cordell and Serena talk future plans with Love Island USA Season 6 now over, champions Cordell Beckham and Serena Page have shared their future plans. During a post-win interview with host Ariana Maddox, 24-year-old Serena expressed, it honestly doesn't feel real. During this season, the lovebirds face challenges. Especially when Cordell returned from Casa Amor with another woman aside from Serena and Cordell, Jana Craig and Kenny Rodriguez are still together. Five. SpongeBob SquarePants is autistic. Voice actor Tom Kenny reveals the clip of Tom, 62, discussing SpongeBob was shared by the Toon Hive account on X. SpongeBob's kind of on the spectrum too as a character, Tom said at the start of the clip. Tom revealed that he thought about it when a fan had asked him whether SpongeBob was on the spectrum. And he admitted that he felt that was part of what made the character so great. A person who was obviously on the spectrum came up to me and said, and I have a question for you, Tom Kenny. This isn't the first time that Tom has spoken about the way that SpongeBob resonates with children on the autism spectrum. He had first opened up about the character being autistic in a 2012 interview with Mark Marin on his WTF podcast. I don't know what there is in that show that talks to kids that are on the autism spectrum but more than other cartoons, he said, via People. SpongeBob as a character is a little autistic Tom has been the voice actor for SpongeBob for 25 years. He made his debut as the character when it premiered in 1999. But he's lent his talent to many other beloved cartoons over the years, including the Powerpuff Girls, Rocco's Modern Life. And Adventure Time A's also appeared in person on Spongebob as Patchy the Pirate, 6. Luke Thompson to lead Bridgerton, Season 4 Since Bridgerton's debut in 2020, the show has captivated many viewers. Quickly becoming a fan-favorite series. The show stars Phoebe Dinavore, Reed Jean Page Luke Newton, Roger Jean Page, and others. With their characters navigating the high society of London in hopes of finding love in season 1, the script follows Daphne Bridgerton in the most recent season. We see the love story unfold between Penelope Featherington, played by Nicola Coughlin, and Colin Bridgerton, played by Luke Newton. Fans immediately rushed to the comment section to express their excitement for the upcoming season. We love good news, one user wrote. In an interview last month on The View, the 36-year-old actor was asked if he had any guesses as to who may be the protagonist in this upcoming season 7. Kim Cattrall kindly shuts down, and just like that, season 3 return rumors Kim Cattrall kindly shut down rumors of her return to the Sex and the City franchise with one sentence. Rumors have been circling that Catrall, 67, would return for the revival series, which follows the SATC ladies Carrie, played by Sarah Jessica Parker, Charlotte, played by Kristen Davis, and Miranda, played by Cynthia Nixon, as they navigate life and love in New York in their 50s. Kim is seen as Samantha with her former Sex and the City castmate Sarah Jessica Parker. Cynthia Nixon and Kristen Davis. Catrall played the sexually empowered publicist Samantha Jones for the original HBO show's six-season run from 1998 to 2004. 
as well as the feature adaptations that hit theaters in 2008 and 2010. Following 2010's movie Sex and the City 2, Catrall declined to do a third film and was not asked to return for and just like that. She did, however, surprise fans by making a brief cameo as Samantha at the end of the show's second season last year. When news broke of her season 2 cameo, Catrall clarified that she had no plans to reprise the role of Samantha in a larger capacity but, she added, I don't think I'll ever say goodbye to Samantha the actress previously opened up about not wanting to be part of the new show. Telling Variety in May 2022 that she didn't like how her character was represented in the script for the never-produced third movie. She called the portrayal, heartbreaking, and said that it turned her off from reprising her role as Samantha. Catrall also spoke about the difficulties of playing a character for multiple decades. As the first season of Sex and the City premiered in 1998, and then the movie to end all the loose ends, and then there's another movie 8. The Boys adds content warning on season 4 finale after Trump assassination attempt the statement continued, The Boys is a fictional series that was filmed in 2023. And any scene or plotline similarities to these real-world events are coincidental and unintentional. Amazon, Sony Pictures Television and the producers of The Boys reject, in the strongest terms. Real-world violence of any kind, the episode was retitled to simply, Season 4 Finale, and added a, viewer discretion advised, warning at the beginning. Created by Eric Kripke and based on the graphic novel series of the same name, The Boys has covered political storylines that often mirrored current events since its first season launched in 2019. When we first pitched the show, it was before Trump was elected. Kripke said in a June 18 interview with Variety, explaining the increasing political nature of The Boys. The Boys Season 4 is now streaming on Prime Video. Nine. Rain Disick pleads with mom Courtney Kardashian to stop making out with Travis Barker as they met up down under. Courtney ran up to Travis and started making out with him during the trip. Courtney brought her son Rain, nine, and daughter Penelope, twelve, to ride on a yacht with Travis. Stop making out with Travis, bro. Travis simply laughed at his response, with Travis kissing his wife on the neck. Ten. Cobra Kai, Season 6 Part 1. What to Know Cobra Kai has officially hit the Netflix streaming platform on Thursday, July 18, with Season 6 Part 1. Aside from the Karate Kid himself, you can expect to see Ralph's on-screen enemy William Zabka, Zolo Maridueña, Peyton List, Tanner Buchanan, Johnny DiCenzo, Mary Mouser, and more. The karate legends Daniel LaRusso, Johnny Lawrence, and Chosen Taguchi, all from the original film, come together to teach and train the toughest and mightiest kids for the Sakai Teike tournament. While the drama is happening, antagonist John Kreese, played by Martin Cove, is plotting to take over the event with his Cobra Kai students, in which he is training for the event. During their preparation for the Sakai Teike tournament, they realize that only six members can take part in the event which ends up being a situation since the Miyagi-Do team has quite a lot of players. The chosen six came down to Miguel, Sam, Robbie, Tori, Dimitri, and Devin. With this drop of five episodes, Cobra Kai fans can expect to see part two in November.